Welcome back now in sports second friendly test match between Solomon Islands national senior men's team and the national under 19 team at the Lawson Tama Stadium this week. Now last week the national football men's team's final squad was named for the OFC Men's Nations Cup and relief for Vanuatu next week. Now the test match between the under 19 team put the national side to test with a good run giving coaches of both teams the chance to work out some of their game plans as both national teams gears up for their regional competitions ahead. Interim head coach Jacob Molly says that with both test matches, players have had enough game time, but his first 11 lineup is still undecided. Yeah, game today and uh, 19 him improved from the last one before playing more the first one. Uh, even though I was uh, running me well, but I was seeing the boys watch the, uh, really step up too for much in speed with young ones. Yeah? And uh, you can see some signs of tired legs because I'm a little bit hard on the boys. We, we will train low weekdays and then play on the weekend and play again more with the young boys. So we will need some kind of good recovery then. We will uh, prepare for this uh, tournament. Yeah. Well, I think uh, as far as me concerned, I think the last games for TSL this weekend too. Yeah, so I just hope that uh, when the boys play, by knowing any serious injuries or something else. Awesome. Uh, but hopefully after that game, we will have to go into recovery mode no more so that the boys are really ready for the game on that weekend, for the following weekend. Now there will also be a third test match this weekend for the national senior men's team on Saturday. At the Lawson Tama Stadium, the national team will be taking on a TSL select side, which will be an important part of their upcoming OFC Nations Cup quest. On the other hand, the under-19 selected squad currently stands at 27, but a final cut will be made to 23 very soon for the under-19 OFC Championship in Samoa. Good for Mifala in preparation for the some more game and uh, as me look now uh, we just finished our trial last week so and uh, we didn't do the most of the strategy tactical plan uh, but yes uh, we do it. we did it uh, the last two days and it works well for us uh, in terms of uh, we did defending to attack because we knew if we would play open game against uh, the national side, they will kill us because with the experience they have. So far, uh, I saw the big improvement in the team and uh, the idea and the plan uh, set up for, for us. It works a little bit well, but we still need more pl uh, room to, to improve on. Mihal Garem, uh, so far Mihal Garem 27 uh, here. Uh, with us and uh, we uh, we only take uh, 23 so for uh, receive uh, or non travelers uh, in case uh, somebody injured in the last minute we pick uh, from uh, one of them but uh, yeah so it looks like a final final uh, uh, 23 or also already in the team as I uh, uh, me uh, look goal him so far this is their second test match, which the under-19 boys held on and put the national side to the test, allowing only a goal from Junior Fordney in the 65th minute of the friendly match. We were a little bit too casual at, uh, at the crucial stages. I mean, one thing that mindset that we all must create, you know, we have to be really, really clinical up front and uh, chances have come, we have to finish because and big work too much for me building up him shall work as situation and him just waste them or something. Yeah? So I'm saying that we will have to try and correct him the remaining days. Yeah? I think we've got the players who can score goals, but the attitude and the mindset I must prepare. Yeah? You see me go for different tournaments this one. Rafael Leai will arrive this weekend to join the team before leaving the country. And Joseph Nawo and Atkin Kawa, who are Vanuatu based, will join the team in Vanuatu. The national senior men's team will be leaving on Monday next week. And finally, the Oceania Athletics Championship is currently underway in Suva, Fiji, featuring a four days competition, which includes all regional countries competing 
including strong contenders like Australia and New Zealand. Team Solomons has already made its mark with three bronze medals. Rose Ledia clinched bronze in the women's short put, while Julianne Sosimo excelled in the women's pole vault. Peter Bree secured another bronze in the men's seated short put. Stephen Rahousi competed directly in the 1,500 meters finals heat with a personal best of 4.0777. He competed in this heat with some of the New Zealand's top runners. And sprinter Jovita Ambrose competed in the 100 meters heat, performing exceptionally well, clocking 13.16 seconds time, coming in third place. We'll bring you more results from Team Solomons as the competition unfolds. And that's news on Tavuli News for today. Should you have any story tips or wanting to get in touch with our news team, you can send us an email. That's newsdesk at tavulinews.com.sb or for our services, you can also reach out to us. That's sales at tavulinews.com.sb. But as we eagerly anticipate the state of origin clash, whether you're cheering for the Blues or the Maroons, may the best team win. Stay tuned for more updates and enjoy the game. And if you're catching us after the final whistle, congratulations to the winning team. I'm Lisa Ossie-Fellow. Thanks for staying with us. I'll see you tomorrow.